swag. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got a big act. I got a big mat. Gotta take them boys to school, cause they skip class. They be trying to. What's going on, man? You are now live with the shot clock. G Day Hoop Scout Rapsy in the gym. Coach Ant Willis. Um, hey, busy week. Man, first, first, first off, man, how's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? Uh wealth and wellness. Yeah. Health and <laughs> wellness check, man. Uh everybody good? Everybody great, man. Oh man, we I'm good. <clears throat> Ready to start this new year off, twenty twenty two. You know what I'm saying? Bless, man. Blessed to be among the living, man. Made another year. God saw me favor, saw my family favor, my brothers, you know what I'm saying? All the people I love. So I'm I'm good, man. What yeah, I got you? on the referee shirt right now, man. Uh, <laughs> my boy just say it's official. <laughs> it just, just means I'm official. That's all. And I'm not I'm not a licensed. I'm not a licensed referee. Who is just, licensed? Because half of these just, dudes need to go get their license rechecked. I'm just oh, official. Man. Official. That that's that's all. That's that's all, man. Uh, you know. Hey, man. I'm just happy that we all on here, man. Uh, hey, yeah. It's yeah. It's it's nice and crispy outside today, man. It feels it felt good to me. Some people was a little cold, um, but I'm not. I ain't gonna lie. I went back home for Christmas, and it was it was too cold for me. Um, <laughs> And I grew up in, I was like, oh, no, 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 it's time to go back to Houston. Like, it's way too cold. Uh, the wind hit a little different. You know, it ain't, it don't feel the same uh, when you're not, when you haven't been there in a long time, especially during the winter. Um, totally different. But, hey, like like they said, blessed to be amongst the living. Uh, we're just thankful uh, that we're able to see another year. You know, we made it into 2022. Um, so, you know, that, that's, that's, that in itself is a blessing as well. Um, because a lot of people didn't make it. So happy new year to everybody out there. Um, hope everybody had fun. Hope everybody was safe. I'm talking about mask safe and as well as, um, being safe and not doing anything foolish. Um, cause I know you get locked up new year's, you're going to be sitting in there for a couple of days. Fact. Um, <clears throat> So just hope everybody was – I hope everybody goes into New Year positive, man. Leave all that old negative energy in the past where it belongs. Um, and, and, and let's let's be about the kids, and, and that's that's it. Um, and let's have fun doing it too. So this past weekend, um, all three of us pretty much was at uh, Houston Private School Classic. I want to give a big thank you to the Houston Private School Classic um, committee, um, tournament directors for reaching out, uh, pulling us in and allowing us to do what we do. Um, I do want to apologize as well, uh, with the same breath because sometimes the feed was a little choppy, but Hey, that wasn't on me. Um, you know, after you do like two or three games after that, you start messing up the rhythm of the internet. Um, and it just, from there on, it just, that was all on itself. Not me. I was running internet test speed, making sure everything was good on, on our end. Um, but sometimes it just go going out. Uh, it, it didn't look the best. And so I do want to apologize on that part of it because it is, I was running, running the live streaming. Um, but it was coming through on our end perfectly fine. Um, but I know sometimes it was a little bit choppy. But so that's something that, that we have to make sure going forward that it doesn't happen. Um, and so, yeah, Cowboys lost, Chargers won, Rockets is beefing with Lucas. Nice way to start the new year. Hey, look, man. I know people are happy about the <laughs> Antonio Brown running off the oh, field. Hey, man. That boy got Nicky on the field. And he took his jer- – he took pads off, jersey off. He was because they wasn't passing the football. He was mad, man. Yeah, he wanted that incentive money. He wanted that incentive money. Hey, let me say something real quick. I was watching the what's CBS going on, Mr. Story? Go ahead, Rob. I was watching the live ticket and, and WKU game, and Miss Stewart came on. She 
She was looking more nervous than um than Junior Mama was looking. Miss Stewart looked like she was she swallowed a brick or something. <laughs> he, made, he made them free throws, but she was looking nervous. She, Mr. Stewart was standing over the seat. I thought he was about to fall down. I say, boy, they I say, boy, they in tune it, boy. They they in tune. But that boy Junior can't hey Junior. Ooh. Gotta you give know, it Junior tough, man. Junior tough. That boy was bullying that seven five kid, man. She said, I'll be in those games too. If yeah, I can see. <laughs> it never do say AB got an NIL with cocaine cap on. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited about the show today, man. It's going to be a good show, man. We got some exciting guests on that's going to be on for y'all, man. We Yeah, that, and, that's, and that's because, Miss Raspberry, a lot of players have been tested positive for COVID. Yep. So they're bringing up a lot of the G League uh, players, sign them to the ten day contracts. Um, so a lot of a lot of guys is getting a chance to get some burn um, in in the big leagues, and so that's just that's just how it's going right now. Um, COVID is here; it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, so and the NBA realized that, and so like David Stern, he came on and. And he said, um, I, and I know the same Adam Silver. Adam, Adam Silver. I mean, I, yeah, I, my bad. David Stern, man, my bad. Adam Make Silver. They, 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 they the same people, man. David Stern, Adam Silver. Because uh, remember, everybody used to boo David Stern. The Adam Silver do second round. Everybody cheered him. Now everybody boo Adam Silver. So, yeah. to me, same people. So, Adam Silver came on, but let me say it right. Um, he came on and <laughs> said, you know, they know that COVID's not going to go anywhere. And so instead of them shutting down the NBA, um, you know, got to keep the ball rolling, um, shut it down, and then we reopen. It's just going to still be the same issues. So uh, that, that's why a lot of y'all are seeing players that you've never seen before um, playing games. And then players who, who normally don't really score a lot are starting to score more points than they, than they have in their career. Um, just different players are playing. And so – you gotta adapt and adjust and and make best, and hopefully everybody can stay healthy. Um, and so that's that's where we at, man. But hey, a lot of good high school basketball took place this weekend. Like I said, we was at Houston Park School Classic. Shout out to them. Uh, Conroe had an event as well. Uh, New Caney ISD had their tournament. Vipe had their tournament as well. It was an event out in uh, Port Arthur area. The Gamble event had. Uh, they had that that event down in uh Pasadena. They had the Medina Classic, and so it was a lot of good basketball. Thing, oh, excuse me, got the hit because he had some teams who went traveled to Arkansas and played. A team went up to Dallas, uh, and played a couple teams. And so a lot of good basketball took place this weekend. And so we just, I'm just, I just hope that everyone in amongst their travels has remained safe. Um, and has been following COVID protocol guidelines um, just because I don't want any teams to miss out on anything. Uh, what's going on, Mr. Stewart? Uh, got to see Mr. Stewart at the Houston Private School Classic as well. Um, he came and chopped it up with us um, in between games. Um, so shout out to Mr. Stewart. Shout um, out to Mr. Stewart. Yeah, so we, we just want to make sure. I just I just don't want any teams to have to miss out on any games because I know district is 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 heavy amongst us. And a lot of teams, um, that's that's the way to get into the playoffs. Um, and so I don't want teams to be missing out on any games. Before we start hopping in the segments, fellas, man, anything else y'all would like to share real quick? Because it's been a minute, but guess what coming up next? What you talking about, Willis? Well, he's a private school tournament. Just want to talk about that. I mean, it was a really, really good tournament to me. Got a chance to see a lot of private school teams from Houston, Dallas, San Antonio. Uh, it was just good to have that on display uh, because there are some really good players in the private school area uh, and everything like that that a lot of people need to know about. Um, I've seen some really good basketball. Uh, John Cooper is probably uh, one, of the, one of the ones I will say uh, is doing a really good job because, you know, for a while they was down for many, many years. They have a really young team that's really, really good, that's playing well this year. Uh, so that's 
<clears throat> really good, man. Uh, another team, you know, Grace Christian looked the good this good this weekend again. Uh, got chance to see Spring Woods, which was a public school. Wheatley was in there, uh, which was two public schools, you know. So really good job uh, for you know the cast over there. Uh, at Houston Private School tournament did a really good job uh, and a really good tournament. And again, appreciate for letting us you know broadcast, live stream, and do what we do. So. Yeah, man. We're gonna talk about some of it later, but um, Houston Private School tournament was really, really good. Um, I learned that it's a. I seen a lot of. I seen a wide variety of teams. Some teams I hadn't saw. Some players I hadn't saw yet. Um, the city in good hands, man. Y'all gonna hear us talk about some names. Well, it's a lot of. It's a lot of talent in the city, of course. But it's a lot of young talent too. Like everybody talked about the class of twenty two and twenty three, and rightfully so. But it's a wide variety of talent all over the city in twenty four and twenty five, man. And uh, shout out to um, shout out to Second Baptist School and the Houston Private School Classic for having us and allowing us to be a part of the event, man. We hope that you know that we are for years to come. Um, it was very exciting and fun for me. I can't wait for next year because it seemed like the tournament just building up, up and up. Um, and also shout out to G Day for allowing me to be a part of it with him because. He could have chose anybody to do it, but he allowed me to be a part of it too. So just appreciate it, man. That's it. That's it for me. Hey, coming up next, we got what you talking about, Willis. That him. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? What's good, world? You know, it's your boy, Coach Anthony Willis, man, back again here in the new year. Happy New Year to everybody, man. Just hope everyone has a blessed and great year. And just, you know, it's always good to be here for another year of life. Uh, Today, man, you know, I got somebody special to me. I've been knowing this, you know, this man, this guy for a long time, man, since I was like 12. Uh, and it's just crazy how our relationship has grown now uh, as we're both coaches. Uh, but he's one of probably one of the best coaches right now in the city, doing a great job at his school. Uh, I would like to welcome Coach Pat from Grace Christian Academy. Your mic, your uh, your volume on mute. I can't hear you. No. Okay, now now hit your now hit your uh volume. On the bottom of it, it should say like mute on the thing. It should say mute, uh stop uh, camera, camera mic. Nah, you still on mute. It should be on your screen. <clears throat> you should see mute. Yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Hello. There you there go. You go. Right. Yeah, yeah, got you. Got, you. got him got in here. What's good, Pat? Man, nothing much. How you doing today? I'm doing, doing good, good, doing good. good. Man, Man, so now I got, I got you on here. here. Um. um this first, first question, question is, is, how did how you did feel you about the Houston Private Tournament? Uh, I think it was great. Uh, again, it was our second year in the tournament. Uh, they had, like Again, like you said, they had some wonderful teams that was off in there, some great teams, great competition. Um, so it was an opportunity for, again, a lot of guys to be seen, a lot of guys to uh, get that experience to play. And uh, I really think it's a great, a great event. Um, Coach Mouton and Second Baptist, uh, wonderful facilities along with St. Francis. Um, I think it was great. So I think it was a lot of teams had a chance to get some, some work in for the Christmas break and uh, prepare for the second half of the, the season, 2022. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, uh, can you can turn you your volume down, 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 down,
Go ahead. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Definitely, definitely. All right. All right. So, so you made it to the championship game in the tournament. tournament. So, so how, how did you, did you feel, feel competing against Concordia for the, for the second, second time? time? Y'all played, played against each other in the Chris crossover. crossover. So how, how was that matchup for you? Uh, it was good because, again, like I said, we, we want the competition. We want to be able to get better. And the only way to get better is to play elite teams. And um, so, you know, playing Concord and Lutheran, you know you're going to get a well-executed team. You're going to get guys that's going to do what they're going to do every game, every play. And so for us, it's a it's a building chemistry. It's about building, getting us prepared for what we need to go for our district, for our conference games, and our run for another state championship. So... Playing teams like Concord and Lutheran is only going to make us better. It's only going to make us stronger and make us better so we'd be able to be efficient um, to get to what we need to get to in our, in our pad for a championship. <clears throat> Those are some great, great points. points. Uh, um, I, think I think that, that is, is the right way to go buy it, it because, because I think a lot of coaches, coaches today sometimes don't, don't want, want that competition, competition to be competitive, competitive but, it but it is about is building chemistry and getting ready, ready for what, what your, your definition is in your conference. conference. Correct. Uh, my next uh, my question, question, so how do you, how feel, do you feel, feel so feel far about, about your season? Your season? Um, I, I feel great about it. I feel good that our guys are learning. Again, with every game played, again, I'm always going to talk about chemistry because you got to have that chemistry to get to your goal where you want to get to. And, um, you know, and, and the bottom line with chemistry is trust. And so we're trying to build trust within these young men that I have so that way at the end of the year we can say we gave 110% to get to where we need to get to. Nothing was given. We worked hard for it. Um, we, as, as somebody would say, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't dodge no smoke. You know, we, we went out and we played. And um, at the end of the day, that's all you can ask for is give 100%. At the end of the day, I hate to say it, somebody's gonna lose, somebody's gonna win. But if you go out and give 100%, it's only gonna make you stronger down the line for where you're trying to get to in your program and building your program up. Good, good, good. So what is the difference between your team last year and this year? You know, you had a key player last year that is not with you this year. So, like, what is the difference? But you also added Xavier on. Um, basically, what we did is, again, if you got, you got to have a formula. You got to have a basic ground that you stand on. And basically, I'm going to tell you, if you don't have no defense, you don't, you're not going to have anything. So we want to make sure that we do our due diligence every day in the workout in the room in the gym to do what you have to do. Yeah, that the, the person that left, not a problem. Uh, we're going to continue to keep working. Um, one person don't make a team. Okay, so we that's what we talk about every day. We're going to get in. We're going to we're going to work. And uh, you know, hats off to, to that person. Also, but I want to say hats off to Xavier Owens. You know, uh, coming in his first year with us um, and had to retool a little bit from his previous school to what he's doing now. What we're doing here. And so with him, with uh, Daniel Sanchez, who's a, who's that part of our team last year, Makai Seals. Um, so if you really think about it, I only had two come back from my previous championship team. I got three new guys that I have to incorporate and get them to understand what we're trying to do and get on the same page. And so that again, it comes back down to chemistry, you know, and trust. You know, getting these guys to understand one another to come together, so that way when we hit our peak. We're hitting right where we need to get to, so we can be effective as, like I said, getting to our goal for another uh, state championship. I mean, you brought up my next question uh, to talk about uh, Daniel Sanchez and Xavier Owens. Owens. You, know, you know, there are there two, two unsigned seniors, seniors but are very, very two impactful players, players on your on team, and, and I feel, I feel like, like really two really good seniors who should be signed somewhere here soon, hopefully. But just elaborate on those two guys, you know. Um, again. Yeah, like I said, um, Xavier, Xavier Owens, um, what, what I can say is, again, he's a very skillful player. Um, he's, he's aggressive. And, you know, he really gets in there and, and gets our, our motor running. And, uh, and so, like I said, you know, I know he's an unsigned, top unsigned senior. And, again, we're looking for hopefully we can get that taken care of here soon. Um, but he, he's next level. And um, he's only going to get better with every day of workout and, and practice and things that he's doing. So uh, I'm, the future, the scale is high for him. And I'm looking forward for him to getting on that next level and showcasing it and, and really telling a lot of people who really kind of sleeping on him right now 
really get a chance to, uh, he can look at them and look and say, you know what, you slept on me, but I'm still good. Uh, Daniel Sanchez, what can I say? Guy has a, a great IQ in basketball, uh, can shoot it, mm -hmm. does all the intangibles that you need to do, um, really gets in there and does the dirty work, a lot of the small things to, to keep us keep us going at times. And uh, so for a, a young, because uh, he's from Columbia, so for him to come in in a two-year and not have his name, nobody know who he is, to step out here and now, you know, people kind of understand what he, who he is and what he's doing. It's, it's just immaculate uh, uh, to his work ethic and what he's done. And so uh, with those two guys, like I said, you know, they're the catalyst behind uh, what we do. And, uh, again, like I said, I, I can't forget the rest of the, the, the guys that's out there that's on with Grace, with Makai Seals and Caden Miranau, uh Herbert, uh, Miles, um, you know, those guys, Marcus Britton, you know, all those impact makes us a team, you know what I'm saying, around those two guys. And so uh, with that, I'm really looking, really excited about our future, what we can do this year and uh, contest for uh, another another championship in uh, TAPS 2A. Gotcha. And, and my final question, uh, you know, I follow you on all social media, Facebook, IP, Twitter. Um, you do one thing that a lot of coaches really don't do, and it's not really, how can I say, not in their job description, but we do say coaches should do it. And a lot of coaches feel like they don't have to. You promote your kids on every social media platform, Facebook, IG, and Twitter. Why do you feel that that is something that you should do, and why do you do it? Um, at the end of the day, it's it's about my players. It's about them getting to where they get to. Um, coaches, we just go from line to line. The players are the ones that run up down the floor. They're the ones that play. They make a play. They don't make a play, those type of things. So we need to recognize that. We need to recognize as much as we can to give those, those opportunity to be seen outside of just our local area and what we're doing. And uh, and that's what social media is about. It's about a platform to getting your ideas, your your thoughts, um, your businesses. And for these kids, it's about getting them out there as much as possible to be seen. So the more that I can put them out there, the more they're going to be seen for and being contribute to what they're doing great. That's only going to feed our program. And so that also shows what your program, what you're doing with your kids when you put them out there. So I, I'm... It's funny because a long time ago, I probably would have told you I'm not a social media guy. But coming with the – this, you got to evolve. As I always say, as a coach, you have to evolve. You can't be the same coach you were last year. And the kids are, are evolving. So I have to evolve along with these kids, what they're doing. So social media is a major platform. So let me get on it so that way I can get them the best exposure as possible because, again, I can't talk to every college coach. But this feed can go to every college coach easy who gets on same thing with videos, same thing about games. Those things I have opportunity for those college coaches to see who may not have a chance to get down to Houston. So they can get to a Minnesota. They can get to a Utah. They can get to all the state because, again, they can't get here to see you, but I can see film. I can see keep up with, with a young man or a lady. I can keep up with what they're doing. So social media is, 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 is key that, uh, again, as coaches, I just feel like sometimes we stuck in our ways a little bit. You know, because we've been doing it for so long. And so, and you want your kids to evolve, but you have to evolve too. And so, if those are things that's key pieces that to get your kids an opportunity to go from a, a get a D1 maybe out of state because they couldn't get here, then I'm going to continue to keep doing that. And so, it's just about, just about you have to evolve. You know, and again, every year you can't be the same person. We ask kids to change. What about the coaches? We have to change too. That's big fact. Big fact. Well, man, Pat, I appreciate you, you know, coming on, man, having this conversation. Uh, I congratulate you on the rest of the good season in the conference, you know, and hopefully I see you win the state again. So definitely, you know, looking forward to seeing that when I'm down there with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 man, please do. I, I, I appreciate everything to love, man. Uh, like I said, we – we just continue to grind. Them you know, GCA is about getting in here and putting in the work. And like I said, I write it on a lot of a lot of posts that I do. The work works, and I believe that. I believe if you get in the gym, and you know me for a long time, all we did was work. Yes, sir. And, yes, sir. Uh, you know, I see Mr. Rob over there, Rob. Back in the days of Fundy, you know, I was in there putting in work in there. So I believe yes, in putting in. I believe in putting in work. The work is gonna pay off in the end. 
again, you, you can't put money in ATM. You don't have money in ATM, you can't get nothing out. So you got to put that work in. So uh, I appreciate what y'all do. I appreciate y'all having me on today. And I just got two things to say before I walk up out of here. And I'm going to go to you. Uh -oh. Hey, man. Uh -oh. Where them tamales at, man? <laughs> 12 for 12, Doc. Where them tamales at? I what see you eating early. early. What up to my that? You can't share with nobody else, man. We can't get a hey, delivery uh, uh, You know, I got grub hub or whatever you need. You know, DoorDash, work with me. <laughs> What's up, hey, Mr. G-Day? What's going on? Man, not much, man. I see you with the referee shirt on looking good over there. Looking oh, shit. Oh, yes, sir. I'm official, man. I'm about to give you a whistle, man. Uh -oh, no, I don't, no, I'm call about to so give you a whistle. Back, man, hey, look. Foul, foul. You look at me, foul. foul. <laughs> hey, and the other one, other, other thing I want to say is, like I said, I've been saying it all, all at the tournament. <laughs> I want to say thank y'all for letting Rob talk, man. I want to say thank y'all, man, for taking the muke off Mike, bro. Take the muke off Rob, man, letting him talk. I really appreciate that, man. I, I know I know, Coach King had you down for a minute there, Rob, but I got you back, dog. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. <laughs> Not a problem, man. Not a problem, man. So, uh, man, I, again, I appreciate everything that y'all doing, man, to help these kids uh, with opportunities because, again, you know, coming from my days, we didn't have this. You know, we, there wasn't no social, wasn't no camera, wasn't no cell phone. It was just get out in the park and hoop. You know, that's, that's how you right, got your man. name. And so, uh, you know, with uh, with this, this social media and things that's going on, this is only going to help the kids. And, again, you know, who's ever listening in, you know, these guys here put in a lot of work on the backside to have this program and, and to do certain things. And so, uh, you know, you want to recognize when something's being done good to help the community of basketball, you want to you want to step out and say something. So I want to step out and say, man, I appreciate everything that y'all doing and the platform that y'all have is only going to make us, make our kids better for our area and then some. And so, uh, again, man, y'all keep doing what y'all do. And uh, Ms. G, they ain't leaving you out neither. Uh, I seen that shirt you had on, man. You was lifting weights, man, over there at the, at the private school class with that shirt on, man. You oh, that, you know what I mean? I seen, I seen that. I seen that. It's, I'm, I'm finally, finally losing, losing my COVID, COVID weight. weight. It's starting to come off. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, Ain't got my. I just seen it like you swollen, like you was doing a couple of push ups when you came in the oh, gym no, at eight no, o'clock yeah, in the morning. I, 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 hit, I hit the push ups, man. Okay, okay. Say, 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 say. No hey, did you? Like the, like the videos. Yes, I love the videos. I love the videos, and I'm getting rave reviews from them videos. So again, <laughs> I'm gonna let me let me let me put that announcement out there. He didn't say this. I'm gonna say this. Hey, uh, man, look, if you need some good highlight videos, I'm telling you, call my man G Day. I am a firm believer in that. Quotation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, man. I, I'm just glad that, that you guys like it, and I hope the kids enjoy it. Um, and the college coaches contact. That's that's the whole point of it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Again, I appreciate it, man. So, uh, and I need my tamales, man. I ain't tripping, man. Twelve for twelve. Man, you, hey, you gonna have to wait. Tamales season oh. over. It's over. Tamales season ain't never over in Houston. What you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Yes, sir. You just got off of that. Ain't no tomato. We in Texas, bro. Tomato season ain't never over. <laughs> That's a 24 service right there, baby. So you might as well go and get that together, man. If you're going to make a side hustle, man, that's where it's got to be. That's 24-7. Ain't, no, ain't no days off, Doc. But I told you the work works. So work them tomatoes. <laughs> oh, man. So, again, man, I appreciate it, man. Y'all have a wonderful day, man. Good show, All right, man. man. You too, All right. Coach. Appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. That was Coach P, Coach Pat, man. We appreciate him from hopping on. Um, a lot of great questions, man. Before we hop on to Carol's Whoa. Corner, something that he said that was really key is that a lot of people overlook, and that is the fact that it's a business. Um. Once you become a recruitable prospect, now you are in the business aspect of the basketball side. Um, and so you have to start treating it such as and not continue to treat it as in I want my reward, I want my reward, I want my reward. Now you have to start treating it as this is a business. I need to make business decisions, things that is going to fit me as a player um, as far as every level that I continue to grind and go to. But up next, man, um, that was a really good segment. 
Um, it it's good to have segments back, man. I just want to say that. Yes, indeed. Yeah, nah, yes, yeah. Indeed. It's nah, good. Yeah. It's good. But coming up next, man, we got Carol's Corner. Uh, he got he got him a special guest too, man. Yes, I do. One thing you will never see me do, and that's giving up. That's giving up. That money, you right, can't get enough. Can't get enough. Punch to the game, and I ain't letting up. Hey, what's going on, world? Um, how y'all doing? <laughs> Happy New Year's to y'all. Um, guess we waiting on my on my guest to get in, man. So he'll be in shortly. Oh, snap! There you go. There you go. Um, so welcome to Carol's Corner, man. Today I have Landon Juma one. Yes, sir. Pascal Cedar. See, I've been working on that, Landon. I've okay. been working on that all year. I ain't know if I was calling you something else. So Juma one, me and your dad had talked. So we, we I got it down now, man. Yes, sir. Cedar, uh, class of 2022, man. Um, very intriguing prospect. We we gonna take y'all on a little trip, man. He got he got a good story to tell. So, Landon, you from yes, Hawaii, right? It's cold. Well, let the people know what part of Hawaii you from and how you even started playing basketball. Um, I'm from Oahu, Hawaii. That's on the island of Oahu, and I started playing basketball at an early age. You know, my dad taught me the game when me and my brother when we were like four or five years old and I've just been playing ever since then okay okay so a- as we go through the ride um I heard that you was a good basketball player on the on the mainland what 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 made you want to come to the states like I heard you could have won Gatorade player of the year in Hawaii so why why did you choose to come to the states last year um the main factor was probably because of COVID, because back in Hawaii, there was no season. So my parents decided to send me up here to live with my family in Humble. That's why I attended Humble High School last year. And because of the success I did last year and I made a name for myself, we, we decided to just move up here and a better opportunity I could play. I proved I could play with the big boys in Texas and yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I know you was at Humble for your 11th grade year. Was yes. Atascacita your first choice, or was it any other school that you was thinking about going to after you was like leaving Humble last year? Um, I was thinking of going to Summer Creek last year, but I, um, things didn't happen with the housing and everything. So it was, I guess, it was God's plan for me to come to Atascacita. Yeah. What, happy what, to be here yes sir yes sir yeah. now what what made you choose to test to see the light i know you played against them two times last year like so what like what made you say that's the program that i want to take my talents to um my dad was just watching film and we was watching videos on them and my dad really liked how they play they play fast play good defense and coach martinez is system you know he always keeps everybody playing as a team and um, I just fit very good with all the players in the system. Gotcha. So how you how you feel about how you feel about your season this year so far? I mean, I this is just me speaking. I thought you know y'all was gonna run through everybody. You know, I know yeah. y'all went up and uh, y'all had some tough losses. Y'all lost to Bridgeland. Y'all had yeah. a close game against Summer Creek. Uh, y'all lost the rematch to Westfield. Like, just speak okay. on the season so far. Now going all the way into district. Like, how you feel like the season been? The season's been, I say, a lot of up, not really ups and downs, but you know, just the style we playing, playing fast, and I guess some of our bodies just get a little bit fatigued. But in practice, we go so hard, but our body needs to just get used to back into the running because of the break. I think. But yeah, you just gotta get back into it. Yes, but I see it's been going good. I really like it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, nah, y'all, now nah, you've been playing well. Um, speak on your family. I, I I talked to your dad at the uh, Texas Jamboree, and I was like, cause we seen y'all during the um, dang McDonald's. 
and it was like nine or ten in the morning when y'all played Peyto, and you had like 15 family members there. So when I <laughs> see your dad at the Jamboree, I'm like, man, how all y'all be at the games? Like, just speak on your family and how big that is for them to be there with you and, and cheer you on. Yeah, it means a lot. Just knowing that they're always there, just cheering. Every time I make a shot, I hear all my brother them yelling, my brother and cousin them yelling my name. Yes, sir. It's fun, yeah. yeah. And then lastly, before we get into into this or that, um, just speak on Coach Martinez. Um, he one of the one of them, you know, leaders of the of the coaches, I would say, in Houston. Like he a known coach in the state of Texas, very legendary coach. Just speak on how 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 it is to play for him. It's good. He's really vocal and just getting us very active and always he's always in in us and yelling. He's very what is that word like emo like he plays with a lot of emotion coaches with a lot of emotion and passion for the game. So that I love. Gotcha. gotcha. All right. I don't know if you ever seen my segment before, but we we about to play a game called this or that. I'm gonna give you two options and then you tell me which one you All like. Right. So I'm gonna start off. I always ask this question. So LeBron James or Michael Jordan? LeBron. Always been a LeBron. LeBron fan. LeBron I'm to go. In a <laughs> uh, basketball in Hawaii or basketball in Texas? Basketball in Texas for sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, game winning shot on the road or game winning shot at home? I say on the road, it just means more. You know, you could silence the crowd. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The and the, la- and the last one, individual workouts or five on five? I would say individual. You can focus on, you know, your game more and what you need to really improve on. Five and five, five, and five is good. It's more game-like situation, but I feel like you got to work on the details. And really, with the one-on-one, you okay. know the details, yeah. Okay. Um, before, because I know G Day and Anthony come back. Tell all the people, the coaches, and everything how they like. Give them your social media handles and platforms and everything, man. So they my Twitter, understand. my Twitter is Jumuan Landon, and my Instagram is Landon underscore three. Yeah, follow that. All Sorry. Right. Hey. Hey, man, you've been putting in a lot of work. We've been saying your name a lot on this show, man. You've been putting in a lot of work. Keep doing what you're Thank doing, you. man. You got you, a, a unique story. And, man, like I said, me and your dad talked for, like, 30 minutes, man. And hey, he told me, like, you know, you, you could have been, you know, Gatorade Player of the Year, but you yeah. wanted to, to beef up your recruiting and Like, you, just, you have no wherewithal to say, you know what, I'm going to go over here to – to Texas, and I'm going to try to get my recruiting up, man. I, I salute you, man, because not a lot of 16-year-olds would do that at that time, man. Yes, sir. Hey, Landon, we got I know you- Coach, Coach Bondage on here recruiting you right now, Landon. <laughs> hey, Landon, I know you don't know me. I'm Coach Anthony Willis, but, hey, you good in my books from here on out. You good you good in my books Landon, here you on still, out. Hey. You still my guy, hey. Landon. Come on, hey. Michael Jordan, Landon. LeBron oh, James, man. man. Hey, you my dude from here oh, on out, man. man. LeBron. Hey. Hey, King James, baby. King James. King James. <laughs> All the way. Hey, hey. Oh, I got one question for you. What would you say is the biggest thing different from Hawaii basketball and Texas basketball? That's a good question. I would say the the personnel, like the people up here, there's more bigger, athletic, stronger guys, you know, and Hawaii, there, there's some pretty good players in Hawaii. It's just uh, you don't see the – Six eight, six six, wings, bigs out there, compared to coming over here and playing. You know, got you. That's why I would say the biggest difference. Cause what's the what's the big tournament that y'all have? Your dad was telling me y'all got this big old tournament. The Ulani Classic in Hawaii. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Pretty big tournament. Get some 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 NBA dudes. Yeah. Sear Canyon was just down there. I think it was the last week or two weeks ago. Yeah, oh, they were playing in it. Yeah, that's the one. Um. Uh, Bronny had was was going crazy in the chat. Yeah, Bronny was going crazy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that the same one Yates then went and played in one time? Yeah, yeah, Yates, yeah, yeah Yates plays in it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Monverde, Oak Hill, they all go down there. 
Yo, man, see, I've been doing my homework, man. What's the, what's the next game y'all got coming up? We got C King District. Yeah, Tuesday. 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 Oh, I'll be that there. A, that's at home. That's away. Well, that's C King. C King. Yeah. That's gonna be. I I'll, I'll be at the game, Landon, man. That's I had it. a camera rolling, man. Camera rolling. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, Landon, man. Landon Juma one, ladies and gentlemen. If y'all don't know that name, man, y'all get to know that name. Good young kid. Great Thank family, you. man. Unrecruited Thank at this you. point. So college coaches, come get him, man. Come man, get him. Coach Bundish, right. Coach Bundish is already putting claim. He said he's gonna look good in the red. Man. <laughs> hey man, hey, look, we can't do no recruiting for Coach Bundish, but look. <laughs> man, man, thank you for coming on, man. Anything Thank you, you thank you, appreciate it. Nah, no problem, man. You have a good one. Thank you. All right. Yes, sir. Thank see, you. See, I know I know. Oh, please. Hey, yeah. man, that was Landon, man. Thankful that he came on, was able to hop on Carol's Corner. Uh, sure. It's good to be able to interview, have a coach on here, and then have a player on here. Uh, and so. And hey, we got more. Hold on. We got more than one coach because J.J. Montgomery is the, is the head coach at Angelino. Yep, 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 true, 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 true. Yeah. I'm just yeah, saying. I'm, I'm just... Hey, Landon. Hey, Landon's, Landon's a player. Yes, he he's, is. He's a player. If y'all ain't seen him, he is, see him. And, and for people who don't may not know who I am, I am not a referee. <laughs> I just, just want to put that out there, man. I'm just wearing a ref shirt to show you that I'm a, I'm a fisher. <laughs> That's all, man. I'm a fisher, man. man. I'm not no bitch. <laughs> I'm not no big fashion guy, all that. Jay. Boycott Coach Rod. Why you want to boycott me? I don't be picking. I, you came on here trying to troll me, Coach Bundy. I just got to let the people know that it's more than one coach on the timeline, man. <laughs> I said boycott Rob. Hey. <laughs> Landy Juma one, man. Y'all go get him. I mean, hey, it's a, he a player, man. He, he no, no, he, 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 he solid, man. Oh. Um, Man, what we got up next? I got to, I, I got to check. We got Vibe Championship Gold Game. Hey, Vibe Championship, man. Oh, so snap. Attack, we could have, we could have hit a lander with the question. So just the championship game. So the rematch. Westfield. Oh yeah. Tasca Cedar. Westfield played really well the whole Vibe tournament. Yes, they did. Um, Play really solid. Like, I I, I want to use I want to use the word point to prove, uh, type of play. Um, you know, play they they had to end up having to buy because Dawson, uh, wasn't able to play their game. Um, you know, then they 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 ran into Elkins, had a really good game with Elkins. Elkins have a top player on their team, uh, Chris Johnson, um. After that, played Woodlands Christian again. Um, you know, they already played them earlier on in the season. Um, and so it's always hard to beat a team twice. Um, really tough game with them. Championship game rolls around. It's a task of Cedar, a game that they feel that, you know, they should have been able to pull away and get the victory when the game was at a task of Cedar. Uh, this game's at the Campbell Center uh, over in the Aldine area. And Westfield was was able to come away with the victory. Um, and so sitting at 15-1 and one on the season, having a really solid season, uh, played really well the whole entire event, man. So I just want to want to say shout-out to Coach Goffney and company over there um, for all the work that they did. All the work that he's been having the guys put in, buy in, been very successful. Um, pretty almost pretty much since he kind of stepped in the door. Like that first year was kind of rough. Um, and I know, and 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 I do want to get him on. One of y'all can have him as a guest um, to have him tell tell that story. I don't want to. I don't. You know, I don't want to tell it for him. Um, but I kind of know what what took place. Um, yeah, yeah, hey, hey, man, yeah, you want, me, hey, y'all want me to ref the game? I'm telling you, cause I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna be calling some bad fouls and then a lot of fouls I ain't gonna call it up. So yeah, 
you. We will take you on the ref side. G Day. Look, they they try to pull me in, baby. Try to pull me into the ref side, man. You gonna I, I can make the hey, I can make the calls. I'm telling melee. you. I can make the calls, man. But no, shout out to Westfield, Vibe Chance. Um, you know, shout out to uh Cy Falls. They won the uh new Caney tournament. Uh, you know, they're they're rolling as well on the season, 19 and 3. Um, we're going into district play, man. It's 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 gonna be some tough games coming up here pretty soon. For real. Yeah. For real, um, for real. It's always tougher to play the district opponents than it is non-district, just because the familiar the uh, familiarity with the coaches and players. Um and so, you know, we're we, we going to talk about that when we get to the top games of the week. What's going on, my guy, D. King, man? Just want to shout out my guy, D. King, real quick. Uh, D. King stepped up, man. Um, stepped in, broadcast some games. Um, D. King got some phone calls about the games he broadcasted. Uh, a lot of positive feedback. Um, even I got some positive feedback about the games that D. King uh Called and then I got I got one bad one though man when D King and my guy Coach Ant was on the MIC man they called it the Cisco man <laughs> hey, they had some, they had a couple of fans upset from the Dallas area Cisco um, but the coach the coach thought it was hilarious so that's why it matters <laughs> the head coach thought it was funny that y'all called it the Cisco man. yes sir hey man I'm just saying you you gotta have some entertainment man. I could be different if I was on that. I like, see that. that then I would have been wrong. See, I would have been wrong. You know what I'm saying? I would have been wrong. Said, Unleash the dragon. Yep, yep, yep. See where I'm not moving, man. I was eating, bro. That's why I was moving. Oh yeah, yeah. See, and the one it was somebody out here talking about. I always get on here and eat. It ain't look. Y'all getting me and Ant confused, man. Nah, that was <laughs> that was Mr. Woodbury said stop eating on camera. Oh yeah, that was that would be me, man. I be look, I be sipping. I be sipping on the dude. camera. Hey, they're doing my dinner time. I'm sorry. This dude. But yeah, no. Um, so shout out D King. Shout out Westfield once again, Coach Goffney and crew. Um, Willie just picked up his first offer. Uh, from Coach Bird, Arkansas Costat. Um, so you know. Shout out to them, him as well. Um, Zion played really well. Um, so Mustangs, man, they they're they're in region two. And so they they do have a tough road ahead of them. Uh once I know I'm jumping the gun talking playoff talk. Um, but in the playoff, they got they have to run into a Duncanville, unfortunately. Um mm. not any any team can be beat. They, they just lost. Any team, any team can be beat at any time, but that's still a tough test. Um, it, it is, and so, but hey, you know who we pulling for? We gonna pull for Westfield in the game. Um, but I'm just gonna say that's a tough task, man. Um, yeah, so yeah, we put it for Westfield. <laughs> so yeah, shout out, shout out Westfield, and they then went in the Vibe tournament. Um, shout out South Falls, went in New Caney tournament. Um, side side ranch, uh, knocked off some really tough teams as well. They was able to beat College yeah, Park. Yeah. They beat Payto. Uh, right now they're on a four game win streak. So things is, is starting to look up for them. Um, hopefully they can continue on. They, they're going to have a tough district matchup here pretty soon when they play Side Falls. Um, so <laughs> hey, basketball is 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 moving and grooving, man. Once again. We hope all teams are able to stay healthy. Please, if anybody is sick and your family, stay away from them. Um, Indeed. Your team needs you uh, and doesn't need you to bring the sickness to the school, man. And I know it's going to be some kids who are going to come to school sick. Um, they may be your homies. Hey, stay away from them. Uh, you, you don't want to jeopardize any games that's coming up right now. Uh, district is important because that's that's how you get in the playoffs. Uh, Coach Chad, we're talking about wear your mask. Uh, that means wear your mask. 
Make sure y'all put your mask on. Uh, man, hey, coach, man, Chad, uh, Rob got to see one of your guys hoop, man. Samuel Cole. Samuel Cole, man. Shout out Samuel Cole for being, man, hey, man, hey, Samuel Cole fast in the mug, shit. I like Sam. I like Sam. Samuel Cole. Samuel Cole shot that thing from the volleyball line, too. Oh, yeah. Hey, real quick, though, G.A., I'll be remiss to not say these these this team too shout out to dickinson because they won the conroe tournament they did win the conroe tournament I'll, I'll, I'll DJ and, the Mets, and they got a big district game coming up too you know we're gonna talk too. about that we're gonna talk, talk about, about that, that. but now nah, man sam man the private school houston private school classic man has so many kids man like so many young kids Producing at a high level. A lot of like, young, a lot of young players in the private school system right now. That's playing Evan Levy at St. Thomas. Nice, nice. Hey, Evan Levy was the I, I not taking nothing away from Jake Pike, right? Evan Levy was the catalyst for them. I'm gonna say it, that was an upset win against McKinney Christian. Evan Levy was the catalyst. He was poised, under control. He made timely shots. He got people the ball in the right place. Like, he wasn't rushed. Nobody can rush him off his spot. Because McKinney Christian got some, like, some rugged guards that play handsy defense, and that was not – that did not but, to, deter him at all. He played a great game. Cisco was playing a good defense. Yes, he was. Jalen Jalen Wheeler. Jalen Wheeler. Uh. But yeah, man, Evan Levy, uh, Caden Mono played big minutes for Grace Christian. Uh, 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 Sebastian Williams Adams is going to be a star from St. John's. St. John's. Oh my God, I raved about him on the on the timeline so much. Trey Luzzi, uh class of twenty twenty four at John Cooper. Hey man, uh, Evan Cochran. Uh, class of 2025 at the village school. The village. It's so many kids, man, that I got to see, man. That was St. Francis. St. Francis got like eight of them. Yeah. All freshmen. Yeah, they they yeah. super young. They super, super young. All freshmen. Super Hooper. young. Uh, but My- Michael O'Leary as well. Yeah, had a great O'Leary who had a great yeah, time. Michael O'Leary who. And then I got I to gotta say this dude, even though he's not young. Xavier Martinez is nice. If y'all need a guard, y'all might want to go to San Antonio and drive to Antonio in college prep because Xavier Martinez can help you win games, coaches. He can. He hey, might. If you ain't seen him in person, hey. Xavier Martinez is worth the drive to Antonio in college prep, man, because he hey. They lost. Hey. But it wasn't because hey, of him. Hey. Shot, shot, shout out PSAT. Um, yes, they, yes. they gave Antonio and College Prep their first loss on the season. First loss of the season, yes, 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 they did. I had talked yep. to Coach DJ before that game, too. <laughs> but yes, oh, and, and shout out, you know, and Concordia Lutheran, man. We was just about hey, to go hey, there, man. championship game. Okay, my we bad. already had Coach P on, yeah. And Coach P, guess what? We just let Rob talk. We let yes, Rob did. talk. Yes, they did. <laughs> but yeah, championship game, the gold championship game because you had a, a bronze championship game. Uh, you know, shout out John Cooper. They won the bronze championship game over the village. You had the silver championship game, which was McKinney Christian versus St. John's. McKinney Christian was able to get that win. Um, had a really good talk with their coach afterwards as well. And then Concordia Lutheran, Grace Christian, championship game. Um, that that was a, a solid game as well. Although, yeah, Rob got some minutes tonight in tonight's game, man. We, you know, we we, we you know, we, we get everybody in the game. We get everybody in the game. <laughs> but no, nah, uh, Concordia Lutheran was able to pull out, pull away. The, those two teams had just played against each other at the Christmas crossover uh, like two weeks ago. So it, it, it was, you know, a, a familiar matchup, to say the least, just a little bit. Uh, you know, players kind of already knew who was going to do what. Um, but 
the kid who really stepped up is David Gibbons, man. Uh, and, and I, I thought he was going to get crowned. No, no, no shot at anybody. I just assumed from the game that he played, he had a double double. He would have got. He was going to get the MVP of the game. Um, but shout out Trey Miller was able to get MVP. Uh, it a really good matchup. It's really good game, man. Uh, this was the second uh, annual event for the Houston Prize School Classic. Kai Corey Luton was in the championship game last year, made it back to the championship game this year. This year they came out as victors. So you know what that says, Coach P. You made it to the championship game this year. So then next year y'all going to come out as the championship victors. See, that that's, that, that's how it's going to work. That's how it's going to work, man. Hey, we may get a rematch next year, too. It may be Concord Luther versus Grace Christian again. You never you never know. But, hey, shout out both yeah. teams, both programs. We may have some coaching changes by then, but I ain't said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, are you raising your hand? No, I'm not see, raising see why my Rob hand, don't man. I don't raise look, my I wish I'd stop saying that. Look, this is why Rob don't I get in the game. Look, like I said. Free. Look, Rob is froze right now. Rob is froze on my screen. He froze. Oh, so, see, look, Rob be freezing up in big moments, Coach P. This is why we, this is why we can't put no. him in the game. <laughs> Shout out to – Hey, man, I ain't worried about that, man. Man, man been trolling me for a week straight. Shout out to <laughs> Bill Honig, man. Um. Sit down with me, did an interview after the game. Um, like I said on the broadcast when I interviewed him, man, we I ain't gonna say everybody, but we in the city know about Trey Miller. We know about his exploits and things that he do. But I was very, I was very, uh, my eyes opened when I seen David Gibbons and the impact that Nick Savona brought to the team. He he just a kid. Those are two kids that you need to win championships, man. They're not the most glamorous kids. They're not the most flashiest kids, but they're going to help you win championships, man, because they're going to sacrifice to give up everything for the betterment of the team, man. So shout out to David Gibbons and Nick Savona. And, G, they trying to be funny putting me on the screen by myself. <laughs> I was giving you your moment, man. Oh, oh, look, oh, even, oh, hold oh, on. Even, oh. Cat, even Coach Pat said – Rob got the second back <laughs> internet server slow. <laughs> hey man, ain't got no, I'm broke, man. I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? I got I, I use the McDonald's. It's a McDonald's down the street. I use they wall for more stop, boys. Stop. <laughs> stop. Nah, but man, no, uh, Coach Ant, any great. takeaways from the Houston Private School Classic, man? Uh other besides why you clapping, bro? Why you clapping? Coach in the championship game. Cause man, y'all, you know, y'all won. You feel me? <laughs> nah, man. Um, I will say that the Houston Private uh, Tournament Classic was a really good success. Uh, I think <laughs> they did a great job of displaying a lot of the top private schools from two A to three A to four A to five A in taps, and then also adding uh, this year two public schools plus JV games. Uh, which were competitive as well. Uh, Concordia won the JB tournament as well. Uh, so we walked out with both trophies. But I also, big shout out to PSAT. Uh, was one of the first times I think a lot of people got a chance to see them if they haven't seen them in uh, Sloan's two events. Uh, they played really, really well. They got a really good team, a lot of size, a lot of length. Um, you know, so they did a great job. In every game, blew out a couple of teams, played against us. Uh, so shout out to them as well. Uh, and like you know, like both of y'all said, man, it's a lot of young talent, and I, I, I'm liking it because I feel like the private school teams are getting back to being competitive with the uh, you know public schools with a lot of the kids that's coming into the private schools now. Uh, again, I'm not saying we, never, we didn't drop off, but it's more teams uh, starting to be good, you know, where it's a lot of private schools that are good <clears throat> across the city, uh, which is good. Uh, seeing some of the private schools beat a lot of public tools teams <clears throat> as well. So um, just a really good tournament. 
overall, especially, you know, during the Christmas break, just good to get those games in. 24 teams, that's a lot of teams, uh, you know, at an event. So just big shout out to them uh, over there at Second Baptist and Houston Prophet School Tournament, you know, their second annual year. So that was really, really good. Uh, looking forward to whatever they got coming next year as well. Yeah, um, did a total of 24 games streamed uh, from the event. So, once again, uh, <laughs> so once again, hey, you, you can the airball commentary, man. All credit go to my guy D King on that one, man. He he got us started. He said we was going to set a record. I'm not sure if we, if we did or didn't set a record, but um. The the window was definitely open in the facility, man, because the wind was pushing the ball, man. Um, but no, no, no. Uh, but no, uh, just once again, when we want to thank uh, Second Baptist uh, for bringing us in to be a part of the Houston Private School Classic and, and allowing us to provide a service for them. Um like like you said, Coach, and I think that was the biggest game that was streamed was the PSAT versus Concordia Lutheran. Um, over a thousand views alone just on that game. Um, so like that game got the most views. Um, it's been a lot of people who have who went back, watched it, a lot of good feedback from uh high school coaches um who who have been using the film, and that's how the like the McKinney coach he told me like a lot of the teams he had no clue about who they was, but once when y'all start calling that boy Cisco, it made him because the parents were watching, the people was watching back home, and so when they let him know about it, he went back not just to hear y'all say that, but he went back to start watching games of, of potential opponents that we finna play against, um, and so you know it ended up helping him out as well, and so. Once again, um, yeah, yeah, and, and the games were free. Um, they were streamed for free. Uh, so just once again, we just want to say thank you um, because you didn't have to extend the invitation or, you know, even think about using us, but you did. And so appreciative for that as well. Um, and that's, 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 that's it for the Houston Private School Tournament. We got a lot of top games on deck for this week. Um, some Tuesday games, Wednesday games, Friday games, and some Saturday games. But Who's before that? we Who's go, Brett hey, man, Brett, Who's Brett, that? hey, Mr. Simpson, Mr. Simpson. Simpson. This, this is my guy, Mr. Simpson. Is that Jake shout Simpson, to, Dad? Yeah, man, shout out to my guy, Jake the Snake Simpson. Hey. Rob, man, Mr. Simpson, you really wanna, you really wanna Rob, go what down, happened Mr. to Old Miss in the Sugar Bowl? We, 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 Matt Corral messed his knee up, bro. Like we no, lost a hot candidate. Don't put it off on two, one one player. We had a true freshman starting in the Sugar Bowl. What did you expect? Jeez. Hey, man, we hold on. Then, then Alabama winning that championship with a freshman. And he uh, started yes. the first game. No, he, he didn't. Training camp. He didn't start at the first game of the season? Yes, he did. Bryce Young been playing the whole season, sir. What no, do you no, mean? No, no, Open no, no. the season. That's the I'm talking about when Alabama won the national championship with the freshman quarterback. When Coach Statement decided to make the change before the game. He got five stars at every position. <laughs> he didn't have to do much. Ah, gonna blame it you can handle, time. bro. In his time, see, we ain't even talk about football, but let's just be realistic. Go, in man. His time, in his time, he had four first round draft picks to hand the ball off to. That ain't hard. <laughs> that ain't hard at all. You got five stars at every position. Hey, okay, go out and throw some passes. And, and the dude that ran four three just run out of that ain't hard. What two are good in the NFL? Hell no. Hell no. He ain't good. Two are good in the NFL? No. What well, I mean, what are they? I, eight, eight, they eight and eight, right? That's good. It's it's not. It's five hundred though. Or for the fifth for the fifth draft pick. That's good. 
It's not, man. Hey, man, y'all, y'all yeah, nine man. and seven, man. What at all? Rob, I need Rob, I need your internet to work, bro, because you so like off right now, bro. Like, I, I can't. I they don't have no quarterback. I bet you they win now. I guarantee they win now with Harold Perkins, Chris Marshall, Donovan Green, PJ. I bet you they win now. They ain't Connor, had no quarterback. You gotta have a quarterback. Connor Wigman going And why there are too. you talking? Why are Connor you talking Wigman going there too? What did your team do? Yeah, he <laughs> Yeah, shout out to my guy. Yeah, you talking to... Hold on, shout out to my yeah, guy here, Perkins, man. man. He made his decision today. He going to Texas A and M for football, man. Number one linebacker in the country. Went to Cypress Park, or still goes to Cypress Park High School. Uh, played in the All American game today. Uh, so shout out, shout out to my guy, man. Nah, for sure, facts. Man, D King, you a hater. Let's talk about your own team. Talk about Texas. GL up here talking about we 97, his team 2 and 12. What you talking two, about? Two, what are you talking two, about football for? Hold on, get it. If you're going to mention my record, mention it right. 2, 12, and 1. Oh, we got a tie with the Steelers. Oh, 2, 12, and 1. Ooh, hey, didn't y'all barely wee. beat the Steelers? Let's throw a part. Didn't y'all barely beat what, the Steelers? Hold on, you say? Then, What's the operative word in that sentence you just said? Beat. Right, but barely. Huh? Barely beat we the won. Steelers. If right? you win by one or 21, you won, right? That's true. Did y'all barely lose to the Ravens? We barely lost a lot of games, but we lost. Oh, okay. And we in the playoffs right now. But, you know, back no, to no, our no. regular hold schedule on, hold program, on. man. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, bro. Not yet. Not yet. Y'all still got to beat the Raiders. Y'all oh, he know it. our schedule. Look at him. He, he know our schedule. Look at him. Y'all Look not at him. Yet, we in the playoffs right now. At the, the day, we put up 34. Man, the SEC good, man. You can say what you want to say. The SEC good. We finished third in the SEC. We was 10-2. and two. The SEC good. The best conference in America. You can say what you want to say. Until it's and got the number one recruit. SEC now. is always the best conference until it's bow time. Don't we got two SEC teams playing for the national championship? Yeah, the number, yeah. That's what I just said. What com- well, you ain't got no college team, so I'm gonna leave you alone. I don't, man. We ain't gonna we not gonna say what's the so D I'm King saying, real quick. What's the so best outside conference of, in America? Outside of Georgia and Bama. I mean LSU's still oh, gonna play. Oh. We're gonna see what they so do. So we not gonna we gonna take Georgia and Alabama out of the SEC. Oh, no, 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 no! Just saying. say, "Oh, it's just them." Who else won? Who else won their both games? Kentucky and who? There was another team. I don't know. I ain't keep so, it there. We lost right. So like four. So four of the teams. Four out of the ten has won the game. Man, don't tell us how to run our show. Yo, no, we, yeah, D King, we to move on, man. Because this is about high school basketball. You're yeah. right. See, D King just getting us, helping us get back on track. I told you, I look at everything and make it something positive, man. Positive. Uh, you gotta learn how to pull the positives out. Well, that's you. That's are we? Uh, you. Are we doing outside things? Thing make- yeah, we are. Before we jump into that, so top. Uh, we we had one of the top unsigned seniors on, Landon. Do you, how you say it, Rob? Jumawan. Jumawan. See, I don't want to mess up his last name after he just was on here. Um, Landon, tough scoring guard, six foot five, uh, score inside outside. He also buys in defensively, uh, a willing passer. Um, likes to play more of a modern style of basketball. Like I'm talking about, pull up in transition, uh, pull up three point shots. Um, you know, the, the, the stuff that the, the kids like Steph Curry type type play. And I hate comparing or using NBA players to compare kids. But that's the only way to get kids to relate because a lot of kids don't like to watch college basketball. Because or else I would have said Kerry Kittles Villanova, but a lot of kids probably don't even have a clue who he was. Um, but that was my guy. He wore the high socks. He made me wear high socks, tube socks, um, because I was a big fan of Kerry Kittles. When he would play for Villanova, man. But no, uh, so you got 
like him. Uh, Willie Williams just picked up. I already mentioned it. We'll talk about it again. Picked up his first offer. Um, I know Coach Ant uh, really, really likes Willie Williams. Uh, and so I'll let Coach Ant kind of talk about Willie Williams a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> I just feel like he, he, first and foremost, he's a winner. Uh, he, he makes plays that wins games. Uh, at his size. Go ahead. Keep talking. That's for Rob, man. Y'all crazy. Uh, but uh, at his size, he's able to handle the ball. Uh, he's a playmaker at his size. Uh, shoots the ball well. Really physical. Great rebounder. Uh, light on his feet. Athletic. You know, just a really good uh, kid for his size. 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, you know, type of player. Um uh, you know, hybrid type of four who can stretch the ball, pass, kind of, you know, again, you know, like we said, we don't like using NBA guys, but kind of like the Draymond Green type of hybrid four type of guy, but can shoot the ball uh, at a good rate, but does a lot of things uh, well in the game. And one thing I think he does very well is he can pass uh, from the from the block, you know, driving and kicking and everything. So really good kid. Uh, that definitely should get some more offers uh, by the end of this season. Uh, Kamari Millender, another unsigned senior, uh, six foot guard. Hey, we're going to let Rob talk about Kimo. <laughs> oh, man, Kimo. Um, a push the pace type of guard, get downhill, um, can get to the rim, can score. Um, has added the ability to shoot, has, has shown the ability to shoot the ball with range this season. Um, hell of a leader, passionate, defensive minded guard that that'll score and turn around and guard you for 94 feet. Um, winner, program changer. I don't know what else to say. I mean, he, he I ain't gonna say he put Clearbrook on the map because Clearbrook has had players, but. It has been nobody that has put a sunshine on the Clearbrook program like Kimo has. Like he's his name is gonna be forever remembered at that school. His jersey might get retired at the school. Um, coaches, he can help you win games. Like you know, whatever you want to say about him, he can help you win games. He's a winner, and so he's gonna be a good locker room guy. I think he don't got a lot of. You know, don't got a lot of bad stuff with him. Great family, so yeah. Go with chemo. Seth Jones, uh six foot one guard, score, uh facilitator, uh defensive lockdown guy. Coaches, coaches that they always ask, what does he do besides score the basketball? He's 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 a top leader in almost every statistical category. Um, if he's not number one, he's number two or number three. Um, as far as just greater Houston, uh, averaging 22 points a game, uh, pulling down six rebounds a game, averaging five assists a game. He's averaging almost three steals per game, shoots the ball at a really high rate, uh, 42% from three point, 80% from the free throw line. Um, I mean, he's, he's a solid kid. Coaches, I mean, I don't, I don't know what else you want him to do. He's just gonna keep doing it, though. He's gonna keep putting up the numbers. Uh, definitely a kid, another kid you need to have on your radar. Um, Jamil Moot, boy, you know his last name, and I don't know how to say it. Talk about Jamil, man. Jamil M. That's that's what I call him. That's my guy, Cy Ridge. Yeah, I think it's actually pronounced uh, multiple. Uh, oh, see, Jamil M, uh, baby. Uh, but um, uh, definitely a late bloomer. Um, he is actually a young senior, only seventeen years old. Real graduate at seventeen years old from high school. Uh, <clears throat> definitely a kid who grew over this last year. I mean, height wise and as a player. It's around six four, six five. He can put the ball in the hole. Long, athletic uh, player who can shoot the ball from all three levels. Uh, has picked up his rebounding <clears throat> right now, averaging almost I think about six, 
seven rebounds <clears throat> a game right now. Um, definitely a kid who is a leader, uh, doing well in the classroom as well. Um, to me, already has two offers. Uh, three offers as well, uh, three offers, uh, two JUCOs and one uh, NAIA, uh, averaging 22.2 points, seven rebounds, and two steals a game uh, right now. Uh, Cy Ridge is in a winning season, uh, leading them with uh, Trey Siles over there, another unsigned senior. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk about him as well because uh, those two are my guys. And, you know, Trey to me is. Um, your old school point guard, you know, you're averaging 14.9 points, 9.2 rebounds, 4.5 assists, 3.2 steals a game. He's killing in every chart. Um, you know, his, you know, biggest thing he has to improve is his shooting, but he's a winner. He's a true point guard, you know, bulldog <clears throat> type of defender in your chest, 94 feet. Uh, big time kid who makes the right plays, always looking to make the play for his teammates, does what it takes uh, to win games. Both of those guys are having really good seasons. Uh, Trey should get something. Definitely a winner, a kid who can help you win. Uh, and both kids are good in classroom. Trey has a 3.6, and uh, and Jamil has a 3. Point, a 3. Point, if I'm not mistaken, like a 3.92. As well, so both of those kids are uh, guys doing really good jobs uh, this year, and everything is unsigned seniors. Uh, Trey Miller, six two guard, Rob. Man, what can we say about Trey Miller, man? Or what can I say? Um, six two guard, just watched him get MVP at the Houston Private School Classic. Um, I don't have all the stats on hand, but I'm sure he's probably averaging between 20 to 22 points a game, about four to five assists. Um, the big thing about him to me that I watch and know about him is that he's a leader and he'll do whatever it takes to win. He's very vocal at the lead guard position. He can score at all three levels. He's athletic, um, defends at a high level. He wins at a high level. Um, Great family, you know what I'm saying? Good student, good student athlete, because student come first. Um, coming from a great program, not just saying that because somebody on the show, but I know that to be a fact, coming from a great program. Um, and he he want like whatever I feel like whatever school gets him, whatever role they need him to play, he will play it and he'll be okay with it. Some kids they want you to tell them that. They're going to get to shoot the ball or they're going to have this many shot attempts. I feel like if Trey goes into a program and the coach tells him, well, the first year I want you to do this or that, I don't feel like he's the type of kid that's going to sulk or want to leave because he's not getting his way. I, I mean, coaches, I don't know what y'all waiting on. <laughs> we talk about all these prospects. And these are we're not just saying it because we like the kids, but we said it because we've seen them and we know, like, Trey Miller is somebody that, that y'all can get to help you win in games and keep your job. Coaches, we just trying to help y'all get these kids off the board because there's other kids that we want to talk about as well. Uh, but we want these kids off the board ASAP uh, because they, they deserve all the kids. They do deserve something, but these they definitely deserve it. And so we'll close out this uh, unsigned senior uh, report with Daniel Sanchez and Xavier Owens. Uh, Coach P was on here. He talked about him a little bit. Um, <clears throat> he talked about him a little bit. Uh, Daniel Sanchez, 6'7", dual forward, um, can stretch out the floor for you. Get in there. He's going to rebound. He's going to guard the interior. He can also guard perimeter play. Um, long kid, athletic, has a good feel for the game. Uh, knockdown jump shots, contested, open. Um as a willing passer from the high post position, something that uh, you don't see a lot as well. Uh, Willie Williams, another kid who does that well. Uh, you know, guys who catch the ball in the post and is looking to create, not just looking to score, but looking to create from the high post position. Um, <clears throat> can guard the three through five defensively. Um, like I said, he blocks shots. He gets steals. Uh, he's very active, takes on leadership role. 
Um, and he, he, it's very easy to play with as well. Xavier, very athletic. Um, a wing forward guard. Uh, another kid who can guard multiple positions on the court. Comfortable with being a play initiator with the ball in his hands. Um, you know, has really improved his outside jump shot. Um, big, strong, physical wing. Uh, bodies anybody his his athleticism and strength allows him to be able to bang with the big boys down low um coaches some some players you definitely need to get eyes on definitely make contact <clears throat> with um go ahead and you got one more i know that's the one more that's the church baptist finger when you're trying to leave but this, <laughs> i know this mean one more go ahead one more no. Uh, no, my guy Pat sent me telling me, you know, uh, Daniel has a 4.59 on a five point GPA scale. Okay, and okay, Xavier, okay. And Xavier has a 4.3 on a 5.0 GPA scale. So, hey, all these okay. kids are great. They good in the, in the books. classroom. Good so, in the books, coaches. You know, and guess what? There's more players, but yes. Um, that's why we let's 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 coaches let's get active. Uh, let's 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 do our due diligence. And and hit up the players, not make them wait, um, not play the waiting game. But let's let's contact the players, let's contact the high school coaches, um, let's let's be active in their recruitment. Hey, top is like I said, we got more. It's more players that we can go down the line, um, but we definitely want to help every kid as much as possible as we can, and. On next week, we'll talk about a whole different set of players. We're going to talk about a whole different set of players. Um, because guess what? You can always – I can take this sound bite out and go back and play it over and over and over again. And we're going, we're, going, we're, going to beat, we're going to beat the doors with all bunch of different prospects, man, because that's just – that's us doing our job. But on to the top games of the week. Man, we, hey, we rolling today. We're doing a good job, man. Y'all boys got me on my P's and Q's today, man. <laughs> All right, so this is Tuesday, January the 4th. You got a Tassie University King. You got Santa Fe. I know y'all like Santa Fe. Who's Santa Fe? Santa Fe 18 and 4 on the season right now. Same district as Goose Creek. Got a couple of district wins. Um, but nobody expected them to be where they are right now. So Santa Fe, Goose Creek, and then you got Lake Creek, Kingwood Park. Uh, Lake Creek has had a very, very tough schedule. Now they're getting in the district play. We're going to see if that tough schedule is going to pay off for them or not. Fellas, who y'all got in these games? I'm, Tuesday, I know where I'm going to be at because I'm already, I'm booked. So I'm going to be at the Tesla CDC King gang. I got booked for that game. So that's where I'll be. And then I'll let you guys tell me if one of the games pop up that you guys are going to uh, you be in there. But who y'all got in these games right here for the first set that we got? I got Tuxedo. Yeah, Goose Creek. Tuxedo, Goose Creek. And Lake Creek. Lake Creek. Okay, okay, okay. Same. I got the same. All right. Still on January 4th. That's this Tuesday. You got side district matchup. Side Creek versus Side Ridge. Dawson versus Shadow Creek. Another district matchup. Another district matchup. Lutheran North versus Rose Hill Christian. Lutheran North is, <clears throat> excuse me, 13 and 2 on the season. Right now, this is going to be their, their a, a real test for them in that TAPS 3A. As they take on Rose Hill Christian, who was also 13 and 5 in the season. And the game is at Rose Hill Christian. Fellas, who y'all got in these games? I got Shadow Creek and Luther North. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who you got, Rob, man? I got, uh, ew, man, I got. Ooh, side creek. <laughs> uh, is Dawson playing? Okay, I got Cy Cypress Creek, Dawson, and Lutheran North. And I will be at the game, the side creek and side ridge game, enjoying both sides. I'm going to get me a chair 
and sit in the middle of the court and root for both sides. I got kids on both sides of the field, so whoever win, I'm a winner. <laughs> All right, I'm going. I'm gonna go top to bottom. I'm gonna say Rose Hill Christian gets the win at home. Uh, mm-hmm. Shadow Creek gets the win at home. Oh man, uh, <laughs> that Side Creek and Side Ridge is gonna be a really tough game. Um, mm-hmm. you got two potential district MVPs battling against each other: Corey Hadnot, Jamil M, my guy. Um, I just I'm I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Side Ridge because they at home. Coach Gabe at home. Um, not go, not saying they're gonna have home cooking, but I just think the the home court advantage is gonna come into play here in this game. But tough, 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 tough game to pick, man, right there. All right, next up, still we still on Tuesday. Uh, Beaumont Westbrook, who just won the uh Port Arthur uh tournament as well. They're playing Kingwood District. This is this. So from here on out, it's district matchups. You got Crosby at Barbers Hill, and then Stratford is taking on Springwood. Springwood's ten and four in the season. Uh, got to see them solid group playing way better than what they look. Uh, fall ball and even early on in the season, uh, from just some video that I got to see. Um, so it's gonna be an interesting matchup. Uh. I'm gonna go with top to bottom again. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna still. I'm gonna still take Stratford over Springwoods. Uh, I think Crosby's gonna get the win over Barbers Hill, and then Beaumont Westbrook on the road at Kingwood. Uh, same for me. Westbrook, Crosby, and Stratford. Rob, who you got, man? I'm gonna go Westbrook, Westbrook Barbers Hill, and Stratford. Okay. Wednesday. So Wednesday only has – well, doesn't only have, but these are the three games that I picked to be um, the top three games. Top three games for Wednesday. Uh, Mickey Leland versus Booker T. Uh, Clear Falls versus Clear Lake. And then Fort Ben Bush, who just picked up a big win over Marshall, is taking on Elkins. So who who you got in the game, right? But is that go is that Booker T Mickey Leland? That's gonna be at Booker T or at one of the uh I know no no, no it's H-I-G. gonna you know it's gonna be at one of the Okay, okay. At Del oh, Mar, the Pavilion. It's gonna be somewhere. I just don't I don't know exactly the, the exact location. Okay, I got uh Booker T, Clear Lake, and Elkins. I could try to pull it up while we're talking. Go ahead. And who you got? Yeah, I got Booker T. Yeah. Booker T, is Cliff Falls with Nick Anderson and all of them, or is that where Orlando Horton's at? Orlando Horton's at Cliff Orlando Horton. Okay, so I'm going to go Booker T, Clear Falls, and Elkins. Okay. I think Orlando Horton's going to have a big game. All right, Rob, so that game on Wednesday is played at uh, Ingram. Oh, TJ Ingram at 7 p.m. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, I got Booker T. Oh, my- I got Clear Lake. And then I'm going to take Elkins in the early district matchup. I'm throwing Chad. I'm throwing Chad's picks on here, too, man. On to Friday. Mm. So fr- Friday, you got Goose Creek versus Texas City. Uh, John Cooper versus Episcopal. I will be at the John Cooper and Episcopal game. And then you got Concord and Luther versus Houston Christian. So, Rob, who you got on in these three games? Man, I want to go to the John Cooper game. Uh, Goose Creek. 
Um, closer than what people may think, but I'm going to take Episcopal at home. And then I'm going to take Concordia Lutheran on the road. Man, something wrong with Rob. He he picked Concordia Lutheran to win a game. <laughs> um, I got Goose Creek. Um, man, I ain't gonna lie. I I, th- I think it. I think it. I'm just. I'm just. It's gonna be a really good game, and <clears throat> I think John Cooper could get an upset. But I'm gonna go with a pistol. Because uh, isn't what's the call back plan for a pistol? Yeah, Deshaun uh, Brody back. Deshaun Brody, I do believe he's back. Yeah, I seen him post some on Twitter, so that that that's gonna be interesting to see. And then Concordia Luke. All right, I got Goose Creek Episcopal, and I got Concordia Lutheran as well over Houston Christian. Chad right. got Goose Creek Episcopal and Concordia Lutheran. Gotcha. But that was call gonna be uh, not gonna be easy. Uh, it's closer than what everybody thinks. Yep. All right, next up. All right, yeah, I got my order now. On Friday, still on Friday, you got uh Tompkins versus Seven Lakes, mm. Laporte versus Santa Fe, and then Shadow Creek versus Straight Jesuit. Who you got? I got Seven Lakes, Laporte, and Shadow Creek. Same. Man, we we all the same on one, man. Let's see if Chad can be the the tiebreaker here. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man, Chad was slow as picks. We got to move on. Up next, uh, we're we going to head out to the go to Triangle area for a couple games. Uh, New Waverly versus Harden. Coons versus, man, I don't know how to say that one, man. I ain't going to lie to you. I just know that they playing solid Anna basketball. Whack. It's Anna Whack. Anna, Anna Whack. Whack. I, hey, I know they playing solid basketball. <laughs> uh, and and they, 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 they rolling right now in the for the 318. And then Summer Creek versus Beaumont Westbrook. Is that Harden Jefferson? Or Harden? No, 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 no. It's not Harden Jefferson. This is just Harden, regular Harden. They are three A school, Rob. Three A. I don't know. I can't. They play. are. They're eleven and three on the season. The team they're playing, New Waverly, is ten and three. Both solid three A teams. It's a solid three A matchup. I know. I know y'all get to watch the little, the little, the little yeah. guys hoop a lot, but. We still yeah. want to show them some love, man. Yeah, I don't know what I pick on that. I, I got Summer Creek. The other two, other two games, I don't know nothing about. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm right, say man, I know about them because I'll be paying attention, man. So I'm going with Harden. Oh wow! I'm going with Coons on the road, and I'm take I'm gonna take Summer Creek over Westbrook and Westbrook. Yeah. <clears throat> Chad was a tiebreaker. He put he picked uh, Santa Fe in the last one, oh. and then he got New Ravenly. Oh Coop. man, look, Coach Coach Bundich is showing you love, Rob. Man, yeah, because I know how to pro- pronounce Anna Way. <laughs> hey, I wasn't. I don't know how to say the name, but I've been following along with them, and they've been hooping. Coach Bundit said he got New Waverly and the Wack and Westbrook at home. That's what I was gonna take. I was gonna take Westbrook at home and the Wack. Well, I mean, why ain't you taking them? That's what I'm. New Waverly and the Wack and Westbrook. Oh, you just so since Coach Bundit showed you some love, now you are gonna copy off? His no, team. no, no. I don't copy off. Talking about, man. I, I roll my own. Uh, don't you bring that stuff from 2021 into the new year. I know. I said we're doing better in 2022. We're going to do better. we all going to be positive individuals. All right. On the Saturday. Uh, mm. So, some early Saturday matchups, 1030. Alden Davis versus Nimitz. At 1130, you got Fur versus Wheatley. 12 o'clock, you got Westfield versus DeCaney. 
I got Nimitz, Fur, and Westfield. Same. I got Davis, Fur, Westfield. And then last games on deck for top games on deck. This is Saturday as well. You got Fort Ben Travis versus Fort Ben Bush. You got Fort Ben Elkins versus Fort Ben Clements. And then you got Clearbrook versus Dickinson. We already know where where my guy Doug gonna be. My he gonna be at the Clearbrook Dickinson game. I know where Rob gonna be before he say it. Where you gonna be, Rob? Yeah. Clearbrook and Dickinson. Clearbrook Dickinson game. All right. Who y'all got in these games? For Ben Bush, for Ben Elkins, and Dickinson. I got Travis, Clements, and Clearbrook. Oh, you got Clements. Okay. I'm going Bush, Elkins, and oh, this is going to be tough. It's on the Clearbrook on the road. Um, Bush, Elkins. I, football kids will be back from the All American game, man. So we going. Yeah, I'm gonna will. go Bush, Elkins, Dickinson. The football boys they'll be back from the All American game. So I'm gonna roll with Dickinson in the first matchup, and I'm gonna take Clearbrook. In the second matchup when Clipbrook at home, because what's the name should be back by then for sure. Who big boy? Yeah. Tosh. Yeah. Uh Tosh Lyons should be back. Yeah, they sure. still got some injuries. Yeah, I don't know if he's back yet, but I'm sure he'll be back by the time second the second round of district play is. See that uh, ain't you gonna be at this game too? I don't know yet. I may switch it up. Okay. I'ma hit up I'm gonna hit up two games. I'm gonna hit up that Alden Davis and Nimitz game because it's early, and then that still give me time to make another another game, a one o'clock game somewhere. So I'm gonna do double. I'm gonna do two games, two games on Saturday. I just haven't chose which game yet because I know everybody named Mama gonna be at Clearbrook Dickinson. So I may I may want to pull up somewhere where ain't nobody else gonna be. Always got to be different, man. This guy. Yeah, no, we got to make sure we get out and see as many kids as possible, man. No, I got you. And many teams. Um, Those are our top games of the week. I want to give this public service announcement as well. If you have a top play, you have to get it to me before midnight on Sunday. Not like Sunday during the day. I had a lot of people try to turn in plays because I, I already set my Sunday schedule up. So I do all this, like all that, all this stuff, the edits that you see, I do all that stuff on Saturday night. Um, I like to be able to build up the top 10 that Saturday night um, so that I can send it out to be voted on. So then I could turn around real quick and boom, boom, boom. Um, but when people send me sporadic plays here and there throughout the day, and I'm not at I'm not at home like today. I wasn't here at the house. I was gone from one o'clock and then get back until about five thirty. Um, so on days like when I'm busy and I'm doing other stuff, uh, you got that's why you got to get them. Make sure y'all get them in to me earlier. I will still I'll still save them and compile them with next week. Whatever top plays is gonna come from this week, and then do it that way. Um, but it just wasn't enough time to get around to it. So make sure that y'all just try to get them in as early as possible, please. Cause I do like doing the top 10 plays um, just to showcase some talent around the area. Um, With that said, we're going to get into the top 10 team rankings, the power 10 rankings. The rankings is already up on bshscouting.com. If you go there and you go to the greater Houston part of BSH scouting, uh, you can already see who is ranked and who has received votes to be ranked as well. Uh, but we're going to get into the top 10 right here. We're going to start with the private school as always and work our way from private school to 4A, 5A, 6A. So private school power 10, uh, legacy number one, Episcopal number two, 
Kaikoura Luther jumps from four to three. Uh, Willis Christian drops from three to four. Grace Christian remains at number five. St. John stays at number six. PSAT jumps back into the rankings there at number seven. West Bay Christian jumps up in the rankings, move up to number eight. John Cooper moves down to number nine. Luther North moves down to number ten. Up, oh, jumped ahead. 4 eight, 3 eight. We got Booker T, number one. So no, no, nothing really changed in the 4A. Uh, Lamarck and Yates switch spots. Lamarck was number 10. Yates was number nine. And last week's uh, voting, this week's voting, those two teams just kind of switched spots. Um, same as Harden Jefferson and Fur. Uh, Harden Jefferson was six last week, Fur was five. And those two swap spots in the voting as well. Everybody else remains the same. In 5A, nothing changed at all. Everybody remains in the exact same spot as they were in uh, in week seven uh, power 10 voting. Everybody is still one through 10 exactly. Uh, nothing changed in the 5A shuffle. The only thing that changed was there were some teams who did uh, receive votes uh, that didn't receive votes last week. And then jumping to the 6A, um, you got Clearbrook, still number one. Westfield, still number two. Uh, Side Falls jumps up to three. Dickinson jumps up to four. Shadow Creek jumps up to five. So all those guys were four, five, and six last week, and they just jumped up one spot. Uh, four Ben Elkins drops down to number six. Seven Lakes jumps up to number seven. Atascacita falls to number eight. Stratford jumps up to nine from 10 to nine. And then Clear Lake jumps in top 10 for the first time uh, this high school season. Once again, this is week eight. You can go on bshscouting.com and you can see all those rankings as well as each team's actual record, as well as check out who else had received votes uh, for the ranking. So, hey, we did a, a really good show. We stayed within the time frame. Okay, maybe not. We, we 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 12 minutes past what we're supposed to be. So that's way better than being an hour or two hours past like we've been doing. Um, just trying to be respectful of you guys' time as viewers as well as our times and what all we have going on within our individual homes. With that being said, fellas, man, hey, any words, any final words, any closing words, man? Man, just be safe in this 2022. You know, again, new year, happy new year. So everyone has a great year. Be safe with everything going on with the COVID and everything like that. Uh, and, you know, guys compete this week. District's here now. So to me, this is this is what it's about. Uh, you know, the district play, getting ready for the playoffs, things like that. So that's going to be very interesting. I think a lot of teams, um, that you know maybe didn't start well or their record doesn't show that they did do well you're going to see different beat different teams in district just because like you said earlier you when you get in district it's different you know you can you know get to scout you get to prepare more you know you don't have three or four games in a week due to tournaments it's you know tuesday friday tuesday saturday type situation so it's going to be very interesting to start off this week with district Rob, any words? Well, I'll let you Watch talk, games, Rob. It's, man. it's an opportunity. <laughs> you funny, man. Hey, man, stay dangerous, man. Stay in the gym. Um, stay safe. Wear your mask. Um, just to piggyback off what Coach and Willis said, um, you're going to see a lot of battle-tested teams that went out and played hard, non-district schedules. That records may not indicate exactly how good they are, but they're going to be competing for district championships. Um, and that's it, man. Just stay tuned, man. We got a lot of big things coming up at uh, BSA Scouting. Keep continue to check the website at bshscouting.com. It's always updated with you know, information about the greater Houston and Central Illinois area, man. So y'all have a happy new year. Um, man, Mr. Dude with the, Mr. Dude's pulling out all the hippo problems, man. 
Um, uh, I'm gonna say this about the Money Bates. I I always felt he should have just stayed in his class, um, instead of trying to rush the process. Um, just because just because you're very dominant for your age, uh, doesn't always mean that you're ready for the next level. Um, look, you playing against some grown man when you go to college. I don't care who you are. Um, you know, Le- Le- LeBron James was a phenom. We we tend to forget that. Like in high school, I'm talking about not just the game, but his body. It was different. It wasn't built like anybody else. Um, and 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 there's other other guys who the same thing. Like they they had different type of bodies. Um, it's just, he just going through some grunt pains. He'll, he'll be, he'll be okay. He will. He'll be fine. Um, I can't really speak too much on the black situation. Um, just, uh, we'll, we'll see what the outcome when, if publicly we'll see that whole outcome of all that, uh, LeBron James at center. Let's see you, Ant Man. What's somebody say he falling asleep past Willis' bedtime? <laughs> That's Chad, man. What you mean? Uh-huh. You know hey, but but the truth is, he played that center and got bucket out there looking like Magic Johnson at the center. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But we definitely appreciate y'all. Um, I know y'all used to us going. He said them oh. enchiladas. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I had some homemade chili tonight, man. Some homemade chili. See, Aunt be eating good, man, in the neighborhood. Well, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, but until next time, y'all know what it is, man. It's the shot clock.